Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about rewriting the center radius form of equation of a circle into general form of the equation of the circle. And we're going to identify the center and the radius. Okay, now let us have item number one. The given is the quantity x plus one squared plus the quantity y minus two squared is equal to 64. So now, to identify the center of the equation, just simply, okay, simply find the additive inverse of h and k. Okay, h, since the equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay, now, h is 1, so we have to find the additive inverse of positive 1, so the center is negative 1. So the additive inverse of positive 1 is negative 1. And for the value of k, since h comma k, okay, so negative 1 ang h, k is negative 2. So additive inverse of negative 2 is positive 2. Therefore, the center is negative 1 comma 2. Again, h comma k, since positive 1 Ang ating given, so additive inverse is negative 1. And negative 2, ang additive inverse niya is positive 2. And then radius, ang radius natin is yung r, r squared. So r, since the given is 64, r squared is equal to 64. So square root of 64 is equal to 8. Okay, now let us rewrite this equation or center radius form into standard form uh, general form rather so general form of the equation of the circle standard form is al already a center radius form now now we are going to expand this square of binomials the square of x plus 1 so that is x plus 1 times x plus 1 Okay, or we are going to use, or you can use the simplest, uh, simplest method, squaring of binomial. So, square the first term, that is x squared, then twice the product of x and 1, that is x times 1, that is x times 2, that is 2x, then square of 1, that is positive 1, and then x square y minus 2. So that is square the first term, that is y squared. And then twice the product of y and negative 2. So that is negative 2 times 2, 4y. And then x is square of negative 2, that is positive 4. And is equal to 64. Okay, now, so general form of the equation of the circle is equal to x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ex plus f is equal to 0. So obviously, the right side must be equal to 0. So therefore, 64 on the right side must bring on the left side. So, find the additive inverse of 64 or uh, the other term is transpose 64 to the left side. Since 64, positive 64 will become negative 64. So, rewrite according to descending order x squared and y squared. So, x squared plus y squared. And then bx, that is 2x, plus 2x. And then ey, sorry, ey, that is negative 4y. And then f. So f, f is the value of all constant. So 1, 4, and then the negative 64. So plus 1 
plus 4, and then transpose 64, that is negative 64 is equal to 0. And then combine 1, 4, and negative 64. So that is equal to negative 59. Therefore, our final answer is x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 59 is equal to 0. So let us have item number 2. The given is the general form of the equation and we are going to rewrite it into center radius form or what we call the standard form of the equation of the circle. And then we are going to identify the center and the radius of the circle. Now, uh, to find the center radius form of the circle, let us regroup or group this equation uh, to all values with the same variables. So x squared and then 14x. So let us group x squared plus 14x and then y squared and negative 12y. Then y squared and negative 12y. And then of course, center radius form the constant must place on the right side. So we are going to transpose negative 4 or positive 4 to the right side. Positive 4 will become negative 4. So negative 4. And then next, next, we have to complete this uh, group of variables like x squared plus 14x and then y squared minus 12y into perfect square trinomial. Since 14x, so what is the step in completing the square? So we have to divide 14 to 2. So 14 divided by 2 is 7 and then square this 7 that is equal to 49 so plus 49 and then add also 49 to right side okay and then how about this one so y squared minus 12y divide by 2 that is negative 6 and then square that is positive 36 plus 36 okay so next of course 14 divided by 2 since this is already a perfect square trinomial and that is if we're going to factor x squared plus 14x plus 49 that is the square of binomial and of course 14 divided by 2 is 7 and then square root of x squared is x positive of course and then next plus perfect square trinomial din to of course is square root of 36, syempre 6. And then square root of y squared, that is y. And then the middle term is negative, that's why that is y minus 6. Just simply, negative 12 divided by 2, negative 6. That is square. Since perfect square trinomial, the factor is square of binomial. And then it equals negative 4 plus 49 plus 36 that is equal to 81. Since 46, uh, 49 plus 36 is 85, minus 4 is 81. And the next, we can identify the center of the circle using the center radius form. So, okay, the center is h comma k. So h here is the additive inverse of positive 7, that is negative 7. Okay? And the next, the additive inverse of negative 6, that is positive 6. So therefore, the center is negative 7, 6. So radius natin is r. Since r squared is equal to 81, the square root of 81, 
Therefore, the radius is equal to 9. So that's it. I hope you learned from this video. So if you learn, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa bagong video.